to another video it is me your girl brianna marie and you're tuning in to another makeup tutorial let me tell y'all i know i've been absent but maybe i'm definitely gonna keep them tutorials coming in however a wig video will be up on this um braided style if not now then after this video but i want y'all to get into this makeup so i had to slay my makeup to go with the wig like come on i didn't know what i was going for but i was like let me just give y'all some colors let me just lay some colors down. Let me just go ahead and give y'all color. Okay. It's getting very much fall. And I'm loving the under eye with nothing under it and a um wing. I say point. A wing tip in the inner corner. Eats. Okay nothing under but a wing point in the inner corner but that shadow we see the shadow but it's just like giving very much and this little mm. enough of me rambling if y'all want to see how cheap this look keep on watching now enter the makeup portion of this tutorial i am going to be doing my face it is late in the day y'all it is 12 40 a.m no 12 35 i'm see spent ahead of my time 12 35 a.m and i need to be done by at least three o'clock okay because <laughs> we're just not sitting here so i do want to do a dramatic look and oh my god <sighs> i just be i just my time it's my time y'all it is my time and i be i be i don't be playing about my sleep i do not be playing about my sleep naked fat Ooh. I already molded my brows as y'all can see i molded my brows already i'm going to go ahead and powder them and do them i'm going to do my brows with also oh beautiful also oh browtiful pomade from p louise and yeah y'all let's get to sculpting these babies but first let's go ahead and put powder so the brows can be matte all day so my brows are done it's time for the eyes so for the eyes i want to do something really soft um I'm trying to see, I do want to do something pink, and then I do want to do a wing liner, um, but a small one. I'm thinking, y'all. I did pick up this palette, the Culture, the Culture 2 palette. I didn't get sent this palette, y'all. I really thought I was going to be getting sent this palette, but I didn't. So I went ahead and picked it up at Ulta. Use the code B Marie if y'all want some money, y'all. But y'all, the eyebrows is like really this slay, like a uh, slay. So let's look at let's look at this palette. Cause I got the culture palette, but I don't have the culture too. Anywho, this is her. That's how she looks. Let me find some colors to go in. But these, this is how the color looks. The color story looks. I'm trying to see what I'm gonna pick from this. Go ahead and pick these colors. I don't know. It's just something about green, but. The burgundy is going to be the transition color in the orange. And then the green is going to be on the lid. I think it's going to be really pretty. Um, in the waterline, I don't know what I want to do. But let's just go ahead and get right into it. Um, let me go ahead and add my base. For base, I'm going to go ahead and add my P. Louise base. Rumor number two. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to bring up nothing. So, I'm just going to say it. Oh, look at that base. Yes. My first color I'm going to go in with is the burgundy shade. Um, I'm going to take the color uh, Dashiki. Oh, see, I knew that one. I think it's called Dashiki. I'm going in with Dashiki, and I'm going to tap this all the way in the inner corner. Y'all know how it go. On, I'm going to take my Bedellium 277 A brush. I want to get some new brushes. I don't know. I got a lot of brushes, but I don't know. Something is telling me. Get some new brushes. Even though I don't need them, but 
I want some new ones, especially for face. When I get new brushes, it just makes me feel good. So the first shadow, I'm going to go ahead and make a C shape. So start from the outer corner and I'm going to go all the way into the inner to dark area. Um, basically like a half C, but not going all the way into the inner to dark, just, just right by it, y'all. So after I do that, I'm going to go ahead and take the next color and put this right on top of it. But the first color was actually doing good. However, I don't know, it just started acting up on me. On top of this, I'm going to go ahead and take the Queen Vibes right here. It's like this orange shade. And I'm going to go ahead and put this right on top of that burgundy shade. I want a more airbrush. So I'm going to take this Morphe. No, 504. Get it right. So I did go ahead and first of all, use this fluffy brush at first. Um, It wasn't going on right. I don't know why. But I did go ahead and switch my brush. And it kind of was coming on right i don't know if i'm using too much shadow or the shadow is just like not blending right you know so i had to pick up multiple and tap off the access i switched my brush so i'm now using a morphe you know a mac 221 brush and then with this one i'm going to do the same with the c shape i'm going to go ahead and just tap everything out towards the outer part to the inner to duck area um and making sure everything is blended uh, even though I put the access off, it still just when it comes on there, I'm like, go away. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to go ahead and add the burgundy shade again. Basically, these two colors, and then I'm going to go ahead and add these green colors. I don't know about this pink, but I had to swatch it to see how it was looking. I'm about to go ahead and blend that burgundy in the crease. Now, I hope it doesn't give me the problem where I told y'all that um, when you pack it on the lid and it starts creating this little weird motion where it's light and then dark. Uh, I hope it don't give me that when I blend this in. So, let's do that. Got the yellow. But, it's not doing what I said it was supposed to be doing with these colors. Alright y'all, so I'm backing this audio up because my audio went off. Um, I probably was talking, I think I did see in the clips that I was talking, but I didn't know that it was off. However, y'all not going to see that because I did just go ahead and um, take out the looks or the stuff that I was doing. Instead of like putting the clips where I was talking but it's no audio. However, I was trying to explain that this eyeshadow was kind of giving me a patchy feeling in the beginning. Um, this is the Juvia's Place Culture 2. Um, and I don't know why some of these shadows are starting to do that. And as you can see right here, I don't know why I did that. But I just made the best out of this look, y'all. I did. Um, so, I did go ahead and blend it out to the best of my abilities. The transition. And I'm also going to use the colors out of the Culture 2 for the um, lid color. I did take a um, shiny color out of the Contra 2 as well and put it in the inner corner. And that was beautiful. It blended out really good. good. But um, these colors too were kind of patchy as well. But I did go ahead and just um, pack it on. I think that's, I don't know. Maybe it's because of how like pigmented it is. But it wasn't working like that on my end. However, when it settled in, it turned out beautiful. I don't know, it's weird to me. It's so weird. Um, but I went ahead and applied these two colors out of the culture two palette. Let me get the names for y'all. I went in on the lid with the shades um Warba, Warba, Warba and Festive, y'all. So um it turned out really pretty. And I also went ahead for the transition shades. I used Dashiki and I also went ahead with Queen Vibes on top of Dashiki. For that transition but as you can see the shadows for yourself this is just how i applied it um so to finish off this look i went ahead and applied sephora um black wing liner i love their liners y'all um it just 
a matte this is a true matte black okay key adams put us on okay and i've been using this liner ever since i'm going to go ahead and clean it up and i have to use my phone because i told you i have character corners in my eyes so it's kind of getting blurrier as time goes on and i'm going to get that checked y'all i've been doing everything for me i actually have been working out that is why y'all don't see me as much i have so much content though that i have to edit and upload this is one of them because i told y'all i was going to give y'all a makeup tutorial and this is it um and i just haven't got to just actually sit down and upload it like it's just a lot but i'm going with it i'm going with the flow i'm taking my time but actually workout is first y'all it is mandatory i don't really like how my um health is going my face is looking nothing is wrong with me as far as health wise health wise but i just need to start eating right because i don't i feel heavy i feel heavy i don't feel heavy now but i I keep working out and I feel a little bit better. However, I did feel heavy and I still feel heavy. So that's why I'm going to continue working out. So Brie, Pretty Brie MUA has this challenge on her um, Instagram, y'all. And it's um, 30, 30 challenge. So uh, 30 days. But you're just, it's a treadmill challenge. So that's what I've been doing. And I've been going to the gym. And then after I do the treadmill, I do go ahead and do um, ab workouts. And then twist to um, like have my sats come in. Because I want my stomach to be smaller and my sats to come in more. Um, so I work on stomach every day and I do treadmill. Um, I'll do a little bit of back here and there. And then um, legs. I don't really do legs because I don't know. I like my thighs to jiggle. And my calves is okay. But I don't know. I don't really care for legs. I just care for the stomach going up to be gone. I don't know. Um, but I'm trying to lose weight before I even tone. But yeah, y'all, this is not what y'all came for. I'm just wanna I just wanted to give an update of where I've been. But yeah, that's where I've been. I did go ahead and apply the lashes after I clicked on my wing and we're on a face. I did go ahead and use the best drugstore foundation ever. That is the NYX um blur foundation. Y'all, y'all have to get y'all hands on this. Uh, it is so good. It's in the shade rich in dark something. I will leave it in the description right below. Y'all know I got y'all. And for concealer, I did go ahead and take my L'Oreal concealer in the corner um, and my Tarte Tape Shape in the center, which is tan, deep sand, and deep. I don't know. I feel like deep really complements me if I want that more natural look. But then if I want to brighten it, I just take tan, deep sand. But that's why I take tan, sand, tan, deep sand, and um, deep. I don't know, y'all. Is it me or did they discontinue the Morphe Matte Setting Spray? Because... I've been looking for that for the longest and I love that setting spray. I actually broke my can and actually in it is just mist. Like it, it turns, it's just like, up. Uh, it's like, it doesn't look like what you spray out. So yeah, I'm like, okay. I tried to figure out why the tops weren't working. Maybe they going to bring it back out um, because the tops weren't working. So I hope they correct that. Anyways, I'm just blending that out. I just have a lot to talk about <laughs> y'all and I love a bright under eye highlight. That's why I put that L'Oreal um, in the beginning, in the inner corners of the eyes. Oh my God, y'all. This is my favorite contour, y'all. And sadly, ColourPop, because I know some people have been looking for this. They discontinued this and I'm so sad. Um, I don't know what I'm going to use after my um, product is up, but, or gone. Um... <laughs> So I'm going to have to find some new contour sticks to rely on. Um, I like it warm just like that. So if y'all can recommend me some, please comment down the description by, not description, the comment section, section below, girl, slow down and let me know. But yeah, I'm getting that nose together, snatched with that same contour stick and highlighter down the nose is tan deep sand from Tarte Tape Shape. Okay. Then I went ahead and took, um, what is this? Rare Beauty Blush. I will leave the name of that in the description right below as well because I just don't know. I think, no, it's Joy. It's in the shade Joy. Definitely know that one. So stop lying. <laughs> I blended out my nose. I blended out the um, blush and I put it right above the contour and then I kind of blend it into the contour. So it could be like contour, blush, and then, you know, highlight. Just everything to be seamless. Um, I did go ahead and take a little bit more of that L'Oreal concealer in this in the corner because i just like my under eye brighten i did go ahead and take laura mercier translucent powder and sasha buttercup together only under the eyes i mix both of those two and then i use sasha buttercup only um in the other areas that i need to set my highlight with 
if that makes sense um but yeah y'all um i want some new products if y'all know any new products is popping that's popular drugstore as well because like i told y'all that nyx foundation is really really good like i ain't it reminds me a high end because the way that it performs the way it just looks on the skin it just really looks really good i did went ahead and take my Laura mercier translucent deep powder to set my whole face i do want a darker powder y'all so if y'all could recommend me some powders um that are darker than Laura mercier i would truly uh appreciate it because i like um the Laura Mercier, but I feel like it's a little bit too, it's giving very much, I could just set this under the eye. I want this to be warm, like a powder, but I don't want a powder, pressed powder, I want a loose powder to set my whole face with. Well, the areas that I didn't set with the um, loose powder, if that makes sense. Um, I went ahead and put some, what is this? Um, 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 LA Girl, LA Girl, liner, eyeliner in my eye, in my waterline, not eye, girl, get it right. Um, also put blush on. This is from my line that I will be releasing soon, y'all. Soon. Gotta re-up that money. And I am dusting off all of this powder. And then I also went ahead and did the inner corners of my eye with the liner. Y'all, I like that. I like that. I like how that inner corner turned out. Um, I set with, um, MAC Studio Finish, um, powder in the shades um nc 44.5 and nw50 for the face that's the darker one and nc50 i mean 44.5 is the lighter one i went ahead and set down the bridge of my nose with highlight and that brush right there i got it from timu and when i tell you it's not look at my nose it snatched my nose y'all so i will leave that link down in the description right below to that brush on timu because i love it i am going to take a um eye coal from uh, what is this brand alta alta has a, a line so i love their eyeliners um and i think it's in dark chocolate because i love a dark lip i don't know i love a dark lip liner y'all i don't like a lot of light lip liners on me i just like the lip to pop and stand out so i line my lip with that and then i went ahead and i took this lip from where is this from i think i want to come out with those two yeah so I was, i'm testing out the good lipsticks um anything to better my brand also this is a lip gloss from morphe and i topped it off with fenty beauty um lip gloss and glass slipper and yeah y'all this is it i'm gonna meet y'all in the outro thank you guys so much for tuning into this tutorial i hope that y'all enjoyed don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up comment rate and subscribe and until then no matter of fact if y'all ain't subscribed, it's gonna be up one, okay? So y'all better subscribe, because I know y'all probably didn't subscribe. Y'all probably watched the video and then forgot to subscribe. Don't do that. Don't do that. So yeah, y'all, if y'all haven't subscribed, or like this video, or share it with your mama, sister, brother, uncle, auntie, cousin, then y'all better do so now. But until then, I'll see you guys on my next one, on my next one.